What's going by? We're here with, well, if you watch my channel for a while now, uh, you can't see me, but you see the lovely Enrique Jang here. Uh, we're here with Enrique Jang, Red Style Media. Um, you've seen me unbox and talk about the crossing over the past couple of years, a book which I have wholeheartedly supported on Kickstarter because one, it's based in Baltimore. If you know, I'm, I'm a, regardless of where I am, I'm a Baltimorean through and through. But Enrique wears a whole lot of hats, Red Stylo, the Poe House. Enrique, how are you? I'm all right. My world's colliding here at Baltimore Comic Con. Yes, yes, they are. Now, do you have anything new for us now? Or, you know what? Let's stop. Some people don't know. Tell us about The Crossing. The Crossing is set in Baltimore, as you said. It's the story of an annoying goth princess haunting the rookie train conductor who ran her over. So she says her death was a murder made to look like a suicide, and she won't cross over until he helps solve her case. Said she said. Okay, paranoid. He says she's any. So we have six issues. Any more after six, or any further plans for crossing? We are working very hard on this. Um, we we're really fortunate to get all six issues funded on Kickstarter, and it was supposed to be a mini series and one and done uh, first chapter, like one and done chapter, uh, but. It got such great support on Kickstarter and a lot of real interest in this story. So we are working on the bonus stories that came out of our Kickstarter campaigns, uh, stretch goals. Uh, we managed to, uh, we have published one of the first of uh, the bonus stories, uh, Tess's story, uh, published now. And then I've got another series of two or three bonus stories coming in, talking about some of the characters from this. And then we'll be rolling into chapter two coming up really soon. Now I have a question. It makes, you know, I love Crossing. It's one of my favorite comics I've read in the past couple of years. It has such a wonderful aspect to it where it could really could lend itself to film, television. Has there been any interest in turning it into either live action or anime, some sort of cross-media platform? Interest by me or interest by the world? <laughs> by the world. By the world. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get it out there. I really am trying to get uh, get the word out there. This is a really great time um, for content. There's so many ways to kind of get something uh, out into the world. So uh, if anybody in Hollywood's listening, we want to talk, come and talk to me. So. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely, you know, if you haven't already, check out The Crossing. Enrique, what other books do you have here today? Well, I, as I said, worlds are colliding. Uh, I am the director of the Edgar Allan Poe House and Museum in Baltimore. And one of the ways I came to Poe House was because I had written a book inspired by Poe. Uh, they carried it in the gift shop. The job became available. And so I've um, uh, been with Poe House now for about eight years as the director. We are about to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Edgar Allan Poe House and Museum in Baltimore. And we uh, are also going into the 175th anniversary of Edgar Allan Poe's mysterious death in the city. So um, we have a big festival planned coming up uh, October 4th through the 6th. And so I am here talking about the festival, sharing with people all the exciting stuff that we have available. I do have my book, Inspired by Poe, here. Uh, but we also are raising money for Poe House. Awesome. Now, quick question. I know many people that are watching this are not in the Baltimore area. They will not be able to attend. But I know at one point in time, you guys are doing virtual tours. Is that something you still do? We do still do virtual tours for educators uh, and for senior groups and book groups um, who want a book. So that is still available uh, on the website. Uh, I will share with folks that uh, the neighborhood around the Edgar Allan Poe House and Museum is about to undergo major transition uh, in construction. So the Poe House needs as much support as possible as we look ahead to what could be a time of maybe brief closure, maybe a brief time of transformation. Uh, we'll be talking at the festival about potential expansion of the museum. So some really exciting things happening for Poe House, but we need your support. If you're a Poe lover, definitely check out Poe Baltimore. Thank you. Now, where can they find Red Stylo and then where they can find more information about the Poe House? All right. Well, uh, visit us at redstylo.com. Uh, uh, the Crossing, uh, we have a lot of uh, literary anthologies and uh, hor literary horror anthologies as well as rock and roll music inspired anthologies on the site. I've got a brand new series coming up uh, called Pawns based on a short film, uh, uh, adapting a short film by my baby brother who's a stuntman. Uh, but then um, uh, anything Poe House, visit poebaltimore.org and again the festival poefestinternational.org 
really excited about 75th anniversary, Diamond anniversary coming up very soon. Thank you, Rico's pleasure. It's always good to see you again. You guys, stay tuned. Check it out and visit, donate, and buy. your lovely Misty Stone and you are watching Webster Style with me. Watch it. 